Hello YouTube. Hey, as I start here, I first off, I want to thank Evan Powers. Um, I happen to know that what he is doing is not easy and I want to express my appreciation to him for putting his voice out there and also allowing me to use his voice during this video and I'm gonna try something new um, I'm gonna let his voice play softly I hope if this comes out right uh, underneath what I'm saying and then I would like to show you all some representation um, about the yellow flag and what it means and since Evan's video here talks a lot about symbolism and how it is a language uh, I do believe that as well uh, it's uh, hermetics if you want to study the language of uh, symbolism you can look up hermetics and h-e-r-m-e-t-i-c-s I believe uh, if you want to just to do a search on that I think that's how it's spelled however anyway yeah so Tweedledum and Tweedledee or Tweedledee and Tweedledum here you will see make a pentagram and of course like Evan is going to say you will see uh, there is this other flat uh, you know a circle there and it's going his their its their feet are going out into the four directions and their hands like Evan will say making their Masonic gestures will form a pentagram uh, it will be one here one here one here one here one here and the point I mean at least is how I'm seeing it the point touches earth and become you know goes out into the four directions it's like the the false Christ descending and touching earth just like uh, how Satan likes to do everything exactly opposite how the the true Christ does well this Christ is doing the same thing and he is uh, boy mountains are being moved the stars are being shaken um, our reality is being called into question and anyway I'm gonna just know it's a pentagram here let's let's do this real quick boom boom see there you can see it going up and it's doing his west side which is of course has to do with the webbed fingers and the bloodline and I'm sure something else uh, as well but anyway um, yeah look into why oftentimes you will see uh, like Napoleon and other quote no notorious people throughout the ages um, put their hands inside of their coats um, yes it symbolizes the hidden hand that guides and you'll see pictures of Ted Cruz doing that and you know probably you know I don't I don't even want to get more into that but they're hiding their deformity and they are also being symbolic at the same time with showing that these hybrids are guiding things so here as you can see it's the five 
pointed pentagram and I think it, it is symbolic of the you know like the Antichrist coming on the scene going out into to the one world order and at, now that uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum both have yellow flags on top of their head and that everything is symbolic I want to show you guys what I think uh, is possibly in store um, as I let Evan speak through the rest of this and I may pause it as I go but here we go let's see tonight because I really do care about people. yeah hey and I want to also say that uh, I want to speak with a message of love um, I suspect that Evan is much like myself in that um, he wonders that if he himself in the position that he is in can see what he is seeing why is it that other people in so-called positions of spiritual authority don't or why are they not talking about it I mean one or the other um, just the conclusions aren't good about our churches um, and you know it really sucks because I think there are a lot of really good-hearted people that uh, are just like me in that you know they believe what they were told and <clears throat> excuse me they were um, even in their quest for truth not told the whole truth and I think sometimes then you know you get into having families or you get into the system um, and you, then you have to keep it going or you're already in the system and you discover some truth and then you have to stay in the system or it can really uh, put a put a hamper on the way you do things and I, so I think there are a lot of good people stuck in this or I think that uh, perhaps a lot of people who started out with good intentions and wanted to do the right thing wind up getting choked out by having to do what even you know other Christians and whatever tell you is right uh, and you know it's just the way it is so this is the way we have to do things and wow I'm gonna get off on a whole nother jaunt here so as Richie from Boston says I digress and let me get back into Tweedledee and Tweedledum and how they have yellow flags and make a there we go they make the pentagram you see it remember how we all did it as children I want to say that I do think words mean things and I've been trying to make it more of a point to say children and not kids because words mean things and so there you see it Tweedledee and Tweedledum they are making a pentagram here the two becoming one just like everything uh, is being 
pointed to with uh, GMOs and gene splicing and everything else. So the two become yeah so the program I have only allows me to do it for 10 minutes because it was free and uh, so I ran out of time anyway the the two becoming one just like we've seen you know the splicing of things splicing things together and I'm going to be making another video about that uh, having to do with cyclopses and stuff like that but uh, that'll be coming anyway to becoming one the pentagram it's kinda like the false Christ touching down on earth and going across making the the one world system here and I think in order you know to bring this about or at least another piece in the puzzle another one of the things because there's lots of lots of pieces that uh, I don't know if you've ever done puzzles but oftentimes you see similar pieces um, in the pile and it just so happens when you find one two or three others happen to be you know right there and when you get the one piece you can the other ones kind of fit together and I think that is the the way it will be with the horsemen and the different things that we see talked about um, throughout scripture having to do with the end times it will be you know one after the other or in conjunction I don't know that there will be too much of a lull if any once these things get going and um, yeah, so, okay, the yellow flag, and I'm going to let Evan talk underneath this, and I may jump in again. Oh, I was talking about love. Hey, sometimes we get frustrated with people that we think should know things, and I was checked in a very... Uh, harsh but loving way by somebody who cares about me and um, it was really cool that they went out on that limb and were actually bold and told me like it was because I may come off however in a video on real understanding but when it comes down to perhaps even people that I'm close with or people that I somewhat look up to and think, man, you got, you are the thinkers and you should know or you're older than me and why don't you get this? I may not always be the nicest when responding to ideas or criticisms or whatever it may be. Um... They let me know with my own words that I had typed and and scripture as well. And boy, I, I'll tell you, I had a, like a David moment where Nathan came in and said, you are that man. And so... If I ever come off angry, if I've ever come off to you like that personally, or if I ever come off like that in a video, uh, it's because, it's actually because I do care. And I really do think that, wow, if more people just saw it, things would be so different. And I wonder oftentimes why our, quote, leaders, our not, our, yeah, our leaders are not uh, throw, letting us know about the, the methods of deception because everything comes down to deception and 
there are different methods of it, you know, and these things should be, I don't think they should be some sort of a hidden deal, a hidden thing of manipulation, and, uh, yeah, so, anyway, I want this to come across as loving as well and any of my other videos in the past or when they do come out in the future if I ever appear heated I hope that it wouldn't come off heated at necessarily an individual but rather an idea or a spirit so Let's get into the yellow flag here since I'm already five minutes into this and I only have ten minutes on my thing. The, best for others. the yellow flag. And what does it mean? To push my so in Chaldean numerology, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. There is truth to this. And yes. Bible prophecies are being fulfilled accurately. And if... And I, Other people don't believe in the Bible and I think that too, Evan. Chaldean numerology number four. I'm only trying to four directions across all the earth. We are still Numer uh, numerical value of the yellow flag in and Pythagorean God. numerology is one. That's right, so the four is one. So, excuse me, I just had to take a little sip. The four is one. There you go. That's, I guess, in numerology, what the yellow flag means. <clears throat> now, in, in racing, and aren't we... As Christians, doesn't Paul tell us that we're in a race, right? So the yellow flag indicates danger, such as a stranded car ahead. A single-waved yellow flag warns drivers to slow down, while two-waved yellow flags at the same post means that drivers must slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary, and overtaking is prohibited. Two yellow flags and I just want us all to think about that if you're a Christian out there there's two yellow flags and we must be prepared to stop if necessary and um, wow there are just what do you say about that you know there it is we must be prepared to stop and that really kind of hit home with me because um There are going to be people that you're not going to be able to reach. And you don't want to damage not only that relationship, but sub-relationships with continuing to press on with the same message when somebody refuses to um, want to acknowledge it or... I don't know what the word is, but one, they they acknowledge it, know it's there, but they don't agree with it, and they, in fact, want to be on the other side. And unfortunately, I think there are going to be things like that in our life, and, um, you know, that whole scripture about um, you must hate your father and mother, and you must... That whole thing of who... You know, and hate, too, is maybe that is a not the best translation, but it's King James. Um, you're going to have, there's going to have to be a choice that will have to be made. And are you going to take that mark? Are you going to, uh, you know, for the sake of living within this hologram and the comforts thereof are you going to be placed permanently are you going to get jacked permanently into this hologram 
never be able to leave or you know because you're afraid of leaving it or are you just going to rely on God wow so this is already the third one I don't know if I'm going to edit it, edit this or what I, mean, I generally don't uh, are we going to rely on God to see us through but yeah we must be prepared to stop if necessary and overtaking is prohibited pretty much we're not going to be over to we're not going to be able to overtake our job is to warn and to be aware and we should be like the wise virgins who have oil stored in their lamps because when those other ones who you know we're all going to fall asleep and let our guard down at some point but you know when I wake up I want to have that oil next to me and I want to have that stuff in reserve and perhaps when I go down the wrong path whew, I, I you know I want to be able to change my mind and have that that oil in reserve you know that's like hey I thought this but it doesn't really line up with the stuff that's pure um, I don't know how else to say it but man you want to have that pure oil in reserve in your lamp and you don't want to have to be in the position of having to go and buy from those that sell because if you're in that position you're going to miss the bridegroom you know and <clears throat> I personally am not one that uh, who I no longer hold to the pre-tribulation rapture and I, I kind of think that sucks, but at the same time, like, I, I'm glad because I want to have my head in the game. And there are certain things that I've been going through already that uh, are, you know, it's like, hey, bro, get your head in the game. And, if we, you know, we have lapses, and I'm, I'm like, I'm preaching to myself right now, you know, get your head in the game. Come on. What are you doing? Get your head in the game. That's what our coaches used to tell us, you know. And, uh, hey, if, if indeed the, quote, rapture happens at a different time than the second coming of Jesus Christ, <laughs> which I don't know how that's possible. I, I just don't think Jesus comes back in two parts, but... Uh, I don't want to offend any of my brothers and sisters. I I say that really with love. Like I don't know what's gonna knock us out of the. Yeah, listen to what Evan is saying. We are experiencing an incredible supernatural phenomenon. And if you see it even in the slightest, I would urge you to not discount it because it is truly real. I mean, I have had some things that, you know, it is just not anything fake. It indeed is real. The residue is there. You can find it not only online but you can find it within your own life and you can find it within your belongings I guarantee it I guarantee that you can find residual of what you know and don't let anyone tell you different um, memories are the scribe of the soul I think that was Aristotle but memories are the scribe of the soul. Don't let anybody tell you different. And you know what? At this point, I don't even really think I need to, you know, some, we, I think about big things and whatever, <clears throat> about the, like the shape of the planet. <laughs> because, you know, 
I know a lot of Christians out there think about the evolution, evolution versus creation, and well, yeah, we know that mainstream science believes in evolution, and we send our children to school learning about this, and we can, <clears throat> they can come home and we can deprogram them somewhat, but I'll just tell you that our one hour of programming is not quite the same as seven or six to eight hours a day of the programming the other way and I know that personally my child goes to a public school and you know man I mean let's just say Well, I don't even know what to say about it, except I'm in that boat. So, I'm in that boat, and it's right. They're teaching the beast system, the, the system, the 666. That's what's being preached there, and don't believe otherwise, and it just is. All, you know, no matter how it's dressed up, and hopefully you know hopefully you get those teachers who are uh, are at least open to your viewpoints and hopefully you get teachers that share some of them that is even more of a plus but boy it's good to develop a network and know who you can trust so let's get back to the yellow flag here we're gonna go on to the next one so the free dictionary here the yellow flag in nautical terms that's another name for quarantine flag the quarantine flag is the one that disturbs me a bit I will tell you it really does because uh, it's one of the ways that God uses to bring people into submission is to bring things that bring the quarantine flag and um, hey well who are we gonna trust you know who are we going to trust are we going to trust the one who became sin and died on a tree much like the Nehushtaf he became the serpent upon the tree. He was Nehushtaf. He is still because he reigns over space and time. It's the cool thing about God, Jesus. Jesus said, didn't he, that uh, be, before Abraham was, I am? Jesus said that. So he was and he is the I am. What he was, he is, and what he will be, he already was. <laughs> Trip on that for a bit. Uh, but yeah, he was made sin somehow. And you know, when I say somehow, I want to talk about faith here for a second. Faith. I have a faith, but it is not a blind faith. It is a faith. It is a faith much like a child places in a parent when they jump off a diving board or when they jump down the stairs into your arm, even though it's like six stairs. And man, if you miss them, dude, they're going to get worked. But I know because I had my, my child jump down six or seven stairs right into my arms you know where man if I would have missed him that would have been a bummer you know now of course they're too big I couldn't do that if I tried <laughs> and uh, yeah they're still around to talk about it but the big jumps come on daddy the big jumps you know that's another one too oh, I'm gonna stop here because Evan stopped before this other one gets into it so let me pause here I'll be back Hey, all right, so the yellow flag, it's the quarantine flag. Oh, let me go back over here to Evan. 
That's right. And I do too. And oftentimes my uh, zealousness against the things I disagree with because they're evil at, a, at their core uh, gets translated as something other than love for what is good. And, and honestly, um, even I know that I too am guilty of overstepping my bounds when it comes to uh, being harsh mentally to uh, people that I may not agree with. Let's just say that. So anyway, the yellow flag, quarantine. Quarantine flag usually is because there's some sort of disease going on. And let's just say <laughs> there's a lot of sickness happening and quarantine, yellow flag, there it is. I, I'm not going to go into any more than that. Now, yellow flag, this has has to do with ocean currents and I do live near the ocean and this this one actually gives a little glimmer of hope but we're gonna read the whole thing yellow flags when ocean conditions are rough and are rough but not life-threatening so come on what we're going into here is not life-threatening because we haven't made the final decision yet, right? And there's going to be hard times, but there is still time to accept the, uh, the gift that Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus or Yeshua uh, has offered, and that's eternal life. Even if this body gives out through um, old age or otherwise. Uh, let's just say there's still time. So it's not life-threatening yet, but conditions are rough. You might see a yellow flag on the beach. A yellow flag indicates potentially high surf or dangerous currents and undertoes. The undertoes. It's not always what we see on top, but sometimes it's the currents underneath. You know, things aren't always as they appear, and we may get sucked in by things that aren't as they appear on the surface. Swim only near lifeguards. Lifeguards. You need to keep. You need to keep Jesus close and heed all lifeguard warnings. <laughs> and hey, I just want you to know, uh, people, that I'm speaking, I'm speaking to myself here because I need this pep talk just like you do. If you're swimming with children or you aren't a strong enough swimmer yourself, wear a life jacket when swimming on yellow flag days. So hey, it's time to partner up, especially if you're with children. You're going to need to partner up with someone, but you, you, first of all, you need to partner up with God, God the Father. That's going to be your best partner. If you're with children, we're going to need to partner up with someone else too, um, but don't partner up with the wrong person. You know, those other things in the scriptures still apply. Don't partner up with the wrong people. So, just know it. Some beaches have a permanent yellow flag because of rocks. Yeah, exactly. So, when you're thinking about partnering up, think about it. Some of those beaches, they have permanent yellow flags. We've already partnered up before. And with our children, hey... There's rocks in the past, and you know, 
we may not be completely out or into the harbor or out or however you want to think it may not be completely done with and it we just may not be fixed and we may not be ready for that you know so don't be discouraged if you're not and don't think you're a loser if you're not because uh, you want to be the you want to be the person that you would want to be with and I guarantee you that you're not and I say that because that's where I'm at and I, I know that I am not the person that I would want to be with therefore I'm not ready to have a healthy relationship and so just keep that in mind and you know don't treat yourself like a uh, don't treat yourself cheaply in the mean in the meantime you know if anything you want to uh, polish those scuffs and knock out those dings before you go out to show and I'm talking to myself here because I'm a single man and um, you know sometimes sometimes you want to go to show before you've worked out <laughs> sometimes you want to go to show while you still have you haven't even put primer on the freaking dent you know what I'm saying so take the take the thing off knock it out from the other side then put the primer on there then paint it then put it back on the body then go out to show and I'm not even a body I don't even do car body work I'm a pool guy <laughs> so there you go what I'm saying is is that you know we need to work on the inside before we're re we are ready to go show again uh, because you know what there may be permanent yellow flags because of rocks in our past just like it says right here and maybe that's something for me even to think about it's kind of weird I'm reading something off of USA Today and I'm almost likening it to scripture you know it's kind of a trip but hey yellow flags Tweedledee Tweedledum you know I mean the Mandela effect what am I to think here that USA Today and God can't speak at the same time <laughs> yeah so that's right a sign of the time USA Today speaking to me like God a sudden drop-off or a high population of bait fish that attracts predators that's right a yellow flag there are going to be predators about and uh, we see that with the infiltration and just with a lot of things just be aware hey you know what there's a sudden drop off here and <laughs> there's a lot of bait fish around you those people that aren't firmly rooted in the truth um, and predators you know, the predators are going to be about so basically you do want to be firmly rooted in the truth and you don't want to get too far out there in that sudden drop off you want to be grounded in this time in this time of a yellow flag because you know what it's not life threatening but hey there are predators about don't lose sight of that um we need to stay strong and continue on but Tweedledee and Tweedledum and yellow flags we need to be aware alright next here we go uh, colors in a flag yellow often represents the Sun and we've been seeing a lot to do with the Sun God and the moon God um, Osiris and Iris or I'm sorry Osiris and Isis 
And so it has to do with wealth and or justice. Wealth and justice. And boy, when I think about America and the wealth that we have and the justice that we deserve, when I see these two yellow flags here, two of them, because in the mouth of two or more witnesses, <laughs> see, and the one, one, that's right, as above, so below, and God has declared, God has declared that he is just. The monetary system. Interesting that Evan's video would be talking about this the same time that I am. And just randomly, you know, when I pulled this up. Two or more witnesses, what can you say? So let's go on. So, the yellow flag from the Urban Dictionary. Term used to cut someone off from drinking for a short period of time. A friend is making an ass of himself, so you pull him away from the girl that he's making uncomfortable and say, Hey man, I think it's time for a yellow flag. Kind of like in soccer, you know, you get a, get a warning. But, you get, you get cut off for a short time. Hey, are we about to get cut off for a short time to give us time to think? With some sort of pestilence, some sort of quarantine? I don't know, but it makes me think. And uh, until then, hey, Evan Powers, thank you very much. Thank you all to the others who give me bits and pieces and uh, give me some peace of mind, letting us all know that there are other people out there. So, hey, hey guys, thanks again. God bless all of you, and that's right. The Bible is an inspired book. Hey, and I've been frustrated too, but I'm listening to, you know, I'm listening to what Evan says, and I relate to it so much. And you do have to struggle with God. And I don't think God looks down on that. In fact, I think if you are truly struggling with God, He applauds that. And He wants you to. And He will check you, but He will give you truth. So ask God for the answer to your question. Because I know from personal experience that he will show it to you in a very real way that will be absolutely unexplainable by anything else except God or the universe if you decide to go that direction. But I guarantee if you ask, ask him specific, but be truthful and be honest about it you know throw that fleece out there but you have to be truthful you can't be half-hearted about it but throw the fleece out there for God and I guarantee God <laughs> I'm not a pastor either hey you know trip out I'm not a pastor either, but I guarantee, man, if you ask God, he will come through for you, but you have to do it with a sincere heart. So until then, friends, uh, have a good night, and God bless.